Well, hello. Today we're going to be talking about the cough assist. That's this machine here. So as we go through the cough assist, I think you'll find it is fairly interesting, but a very easy machine to utilize. You should never use this machine without one of these, and that is an exhalation filter or a bacterial filter and that simply fits onto the front of the machine and this is normal sizing so any bacterial filter will fit. Now you're going to connect your tubing here to the filter and now you're pretty much set with the exception that you need your patient adapter. Now next what we want to do is adapt the end of this so that our patient can take the therapy. Now some patients can do this with a simple mouthpiece and so all they need then is this little mouthpiece which will fit right on to the end of the tube and they simply breathe in it and in some cases they may need to hold their nose or use a nose clip. That's only for patients that have been trained and have used this and find that this is something that they can tolerate. Next is a mask that's probably one of the ways that you'll see the most but with this system you have a slight problem in that the mask and the tubing are the same size and so what comes with the machine is this little barrel connector and that fits right into your tubing and then into your mask and if you find that the mask cuff is a little bit too spongy you can add a little air with a syringe through this little port right here and firm it up. And then you simply place it on the patient's face and give them the treatment that way. Well. Frankly, I don't like this tube simply for one small fact. This little adapter does not fit. This is not the size that you need for an endo tube. Now, if you're using this adapter and you need to attach this to the endo tube, you'll notice that it does not fit because the diameter is wrong. It's too large and it doesn't fit. Actually, I like this Hudson brand, uh, Hudson 1422 adapter. It does the same thing, but as you find out, that the diameters are different. Okay, this is the Hudson and what it is is a little bit thicker here so when it fits onto your tube it will also fit nicely onto your endo tube and then you can do your patient with an endo tube that way. Okay, now I'm going to uh, attach this to my mannequin. I have my endo tube adapter here and I'm going to tell the patient what's going to happen. It's going to push and pull the secretions out of the lungs. I'm going to turn it on, connect it, and do the auto mode now. It's gone through 40, negative 40, now a pause. Positive 40, now negative 40. Pause, positive 40, negative 40, pause, 
negative 40, I mean positive 40, now negative 40, and you can see the chest moving on the positive, fills up, and lets it out. Now, you want to do about five or six of those and give the patient a rest. Too much is going to be exhausting for the patient. At this point, you may even need to su suction out the secretions. Now, after the patient has had a uh, 20 to 30 second rest, you uh, suction out secretions if uh, they were any. Now you're going to start it up and do the same thing again. I'm going to attach it. And we have one cycle, neg positive, negative, two cycles. Three cycles, four cycles, and five cycles. I'm going to stop it at that. Notice I stopped it at the pause period. That's all, also a good place to uh, begin it. Now you're going to be doing that about five cycles of uh, five times. So uh, this is going to take approximately a 10 minute period and especially if you get a lot of secretions. Now we're not going to go on and do any more with this mannequin. I'm sure you all are interested in how does it really feel as a patient and when you're in the lab you're going to get to do the same thing. I'm going to show you what it's like on myself. I'm going to use the mask. You're going to do this, make sure that you clean off the mask in between. Now, I haven't had any problems with secretions, but what you want the patient to do is relax, allow the air to fill up the lungs, and then during the exhale period, you can feel the air being pulled out of the patient's lungs. Now, I would be doing five more cycles of that, and at the end, if I had secretions, to cough up, I would. So basically this is all you need to know about the cough assist.